Okay, in this video I want to show you um, the basics of a template and how you use the building blocks basically of MailChimp to create your campaigns and your templates. Um, very brief overview, I don't claim to be uh, a MailChimp expert by any means, uh, but hopefully this will help. Uh, so if I want to start a new template I can simply click create template up in the top right corner and it gives me some options on what do I want to do with my template, how do I want this to work. So um, I can start with a template that just is one column. Notice there's a border around this template, or you can do uh, one column full width, which is the full width of the screen. Um, either is fine. Um, I think these are full width in the new templates that we're doing. But I'm going to move uh, to one column just to show you how simple they are. So all I did was click that one column layout, and um, it's pulling information in and saying, OK, design your email. Here's where it starts. Um, so some basic information comes in. So the first things I want to point out is that uh, MailChimp is set up in blocks of information, content blocks. So uh, this first block here where I hover my mouse, you see it's got a gray block with a header. Uh, I have the Ears of Experience logo in there, um, and I uploaded that in my content so that it comes in. And the next block down here, I have a text block, and you can put links in to outside data and a lot of other things. Uh, and then I have a link or a box down here that has um, social media links. Uh, and then you also have the kind of like your terms and conditions um, disclaimer block at the bottom that tells people how to unsubscribe if they need to. Um, we're required to make sure we do that. Publish the information of where they got this, uh, why they're getting this information, stuff like that. So that will come through automatically. Creating a new email is pretty simple. So if you look to the right hand side of the screen over here, you'll see there are different types of content blocks that you can use. So if I want to create a new text section, um, I just click on this box that says text on the right and I drag it over and as I move my mouse up and down, you'll see the blue line shows up where you can drop your text block. So if I drop it here right underneath the logo, you'll see I get a brand new block and it's got information in there that says this is a text block. You can use it to add information. So if I want to edit this, I simply click that block, and over here on the right, because I just dragged it in, it's already selected, is um, a section that you can use to edit this information. So this portion over here kind of works like Word. Um, it's a document editor, um, so you can come in here and type any new information you need. And you'll notice that as you're typing over here on the right, what um, is going to be in your content shows up on the left. So you can't edit it in the block on the left, you have to edit it on the right, but it's that simple to do. So once you uh, get something in here, uh, just like Word, you can click up here and make it bold. Um, you can make it italic. Uh, you can underline. Um, you can create a link. So if you want to link this to your personal web page or anything, um, you would highlight the section you want to be a link, and you click this link box, and it will give you information saying, okay, what do you want to link it to? Do you want to link it to a web address? Do you want to email um, a certain file? And then you put in the content there that you want it to go to. But I'm going to cancel that link. Um, you can do bulleted lists. You can add an image. Um, you can change the style, uh, font, or size of the um, text that you're using. You can uh, use this to change colors if you want it to be red. Um, you can highlight it. You can um, justify it left, center, or right in the block, um, however you want that to be. So it's pretty simple uh, to actually start entering data into a block. So this is a content block. Up here at the top you also have a style which says you know you can apply it to the entire block of information. So it's kind of like that word uh, data. Do you want it to specific font, specific text size, specific color? How do you want it aligned? Um, and then there's a settings block. So this can let you determine how many columns you want. Um, if you want to make it look like a newspaper article where there's two columns, etc. You can do those as well. Um, but in this case we just simply have a very basic text box. So when you're done editing that, you just click Save and Close. So the next one here is a boxed text. It's the same thing, you just click it and drag it where you want it to be. Uh, and the difference is, notice this has a box around it when you move off. So that's box text. So you have regular text in this block, and you have box text in this block. Okay, so we'll leave that, save and close. Uh, you can pull it a divider. So if I click the divider and bring it in, um, I can put it here. The divider is literally just this very thin line. 
Um, you can decide what kind of line you want. So you want it to be a solid line, dash line, you know, double line, however you want. I like solid lines. Uh, you can adjust your pixels here uh, to make it a thicker line. Notice it's very small now, but it will move when I um, change the pixels. You can pick a different color for your divider. You can have a background on it if you want. Okay, however you want to do that. Uh, and then there's a box down here at the bottom of your contents that will say apply to all divider blocks. So if you want all your dividers that are in the entire template to look the same, you would click this box and it would make them all that way without having to reformat them all. And obviously there's only one here right now, so it's not as big a deal. But we can save and close that. Uh, images, you can add an image again, drag your block in, um, and then you have the option to uh, upload an image. So if you click over here on the right, you can browse images that you have saved in your content or you can click upload in the top right hand corner up here and the system will let you find an image that you want to upload and pull it in. So if you find an image that you have here that you want to use, like I'm going to use Tigger, I just double click it and it brings the image in. Um, while this block is still selected, notice over here on the right in the content I can replace the image, I can edit it, I can create a link, or I can do other things with it. So edit is the simplest one. Uh, if you click edit, it lets you edit the content of that particular image. So you can make it square, you know, you can adjust a lot of different things. You can do the dimensions on it. Um, so there's some pretty good features built right in. So we'll save and close that block. Um, an image group is the same thing, just like you see here. It lets you put images stacked up or in squares and things like that. Uh, an image card is also the same. It puts an image in, but it puts a little black bar at the bottom of your image and lets you put text in like a um, magazine. You know, when you put a picture in and you say what this is, um, you can do an image card with that. There's an image and caption. So the image and caption, um, same kind of thing. It's just instead of a small bar underneath the picture, it is in a whole other block. We'll show you that in one of the templates. Um, you have two different social media options here. So this one is social share. So I'm going to drag this in here underneath and say social share. This is great to put in your um, newsletters or blast emails because basically when somebody clicks these, they can click to share on Facebook, click to share through a tweet, or they can click to forward via an email. So uh, you have options over here again on the right in the content. You can add another service if you want, clicking the add another service button at the bottom. Uh, and then from the drop down here, you can pick what you want to do. Do you want to have a LinkedIn, Pinterest, um, a few options available. So if you decide, nope, I don't want to go there, I don't need that, um, you can just hit the minus button and it will delete it. And if you uh, don't like the order these are in, um, see the little three dots on the far left here where the glove turns? You can click that and just drag it and it will move the order that they're in, which is affected over here in your content block. Pretty simple to do. So that is your social share. Your social follow is the one that's down here at the bottom, this block. Um, anytime you are in a block, like I said, if you want to edit them, you can simply click in the block that you're on and it will open the content editor on the right. Or you can click the little pencil up here too, and that will open that um, block to edit. If you want to um, delete this block, you can delete it, just hit the trash can and it'll say, do you want to delete? And you delete it. Um, you can duplicate. So for example, we did this um, divider. If you want to duplicate the divider and not have to recreate it, just highlight the block and click the plus buttons. So now we've created a couple of dividers simply by clicking the replicate. Um, and then you have over here on the far left, just like we did in the minute ago, um, you have drag to reorder. So if I want to click on this um, divider and drag it down underneath the picture, I can do that and I can reorder these. I can take this one and drag it up here. And so you can move your content around. You can do that with your social media share. Just click and drag it wherever you'd like it to be. Um, maybe we want to move this one down to the bottom. Okay, so you can really adjust your content um, however you want it to be. Not too hard. So we'll save and close that. Um, you have options for a button. So you can create a button that says, you know, click here to send me an email. Um, you'll see those in our templates where uh, it's click here for brochure, etc. cetera. Um, there is a footer, which is basically this portion down here at the bottom, um, details about you and your newsletter. Um, and then there's a block here for code or video. 
So you can drag your code and video blocks in and it allows you to um, link to a web URL for a YouTube video, things like that. You'll see those in the template when we get to them. But essentially that's the basics of how you use um, MailChimp to create content. Uh, it's building blocks, you drag and drop, and then you fill in the blanks. So it's not that scary once you start playing with it. Um, again, you can delete things and get rid of them. Uh, and we're going to cover more of that when we get into the actual quote template here in just a minute. All right, see you in the next video.